We got some old, um, old new news, old new news. It's gonna sound like I'm saying Mewtwo from Pokemon, but what's up, what's happening, Big KA, we back in this thing. K2 gutter, he sleep with a cutter, up a turn, you know, the big dog, he want a turn. We here to talk about Bristopher Brown. Briss pa Brown, yes, 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 we here to talk about him, we here to talk about him. Now, Chris Brown's attorney issues a statement caused recent lawsuit was set up. Now, if you don't remember it, like, probably it's been a while again. I'm late on this one, this is a story that I've... Been late on. I should have talked about it sooner. I've been a little bit late. My bad. But basically, it's a story about Chris Brown had like a concert in like Dallas or whatever, or Texas in general. Uh, him and Yellow Beezy was over there. They was performing or whatever. He invited some, allegedly, he invited some dudes to the back. They was chilling there, chilling with some females or whatever. And then Briss finally, after his meeting greet, he was tired. After he was grabbing some ass, you know what I'm saying, and doing all his nonsense at the, his meeting greets. Basically, the dudes was over there. It was tired, it was bored, they, they dabbed to him like, hey, we out. And then after somebody in his entourage or Chris, I forgot, they're like, hey, isn't this the buster you had beef with or whatever? Woo. -woo. And allegedly, hey, them boys got beat up or whatever. And they was trying to sue him for whatever have you. For claims that Briss and Yellow Beezy jumped them and hurt them or whatever have you over a prior misunderstanding. As well as the bodyguard was trying to sue Chris Brown and all that shit. Like, a lot of shit was going on. And I'm like, Briss. You can't have a tour called 11 11, one, one, one of one, one of one, and be over there putting belt to ass like Briss. What is he want, boy? Motherfuckers already, like, again, as we've seen potentially with the whole NBA celebrity game, they didn't want you to play because of the whole Riri situation, which I think every nigga has moved past at this point. Like, again, you can hate him, but that, that boy Briss, he doing numbers with that tour, as you can see. So clearly he got a strong fan base. With that being said, with that being said, we had to talk about it because it's attorney's issue a statement. We 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 gotta cover it, man. We can't just sit here and just cover when they first happened. because we gotta cover it. We gotta get into it a little bit. So, anyways, Chris Brown's lawyer says the recent lawsuits against the singer are shakedown attempts. Four men are accusing Chris Brown of assaulting them backstage after a show in Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, Texas, thank you. The alleged victims of the assault are seeking 50 mil. Shortly after, a security guard at the concert filed a 15 million lawsuit of his own for alleged injuries. He also claimed that Brown threw the first punch. However, Chris Brown's attorney, uh, Levy McCarthyn, hopefully I'm saying that right, Liv. I'm going to just call your ass Levy. I ain't trying to disrespect nobody. Says that the singer was not the aggressor in the situation. Why were all these individuals even backstage anywhere near Chris's dressing room? A uh, Levy asked <coughs> in a statement obtained by TMZ. Their sole purpose was to provoke him and his team and to build a record for a lawsuit. Their attorney continued. Most of us are not pop stars, so the only place we have to dress is our home, our personal space. Imagine what reaction you would have if someone invaded your personal space with the singular goal of provoking difficulties. Even in this challenging circumstance, Chris never initiated physical contact with anyone. Levy claims one of the plaintiffs who works as a professional personal injury attorney approached Chris Brown after the July 20th concert and began provoking the singer. He deemed the men involved troublemakers with a clear agenda. He argues that they are, they are, are directly, who the fuck wrote this shit? This shit made no fucking sense. Um, but they are directly responsible for the situation that ensued. The attorney's statement concluded, Chris was unjustly targeted in this incident. These individuals saw him as an opportunity, uh, an opportunity for a financial gain and should never be permitted backstage in the first place. The whole episode was clearly a setup. So you saying like, <clears throat> I'm going to say I believe these gentlemen is from Fort Worth, Texas. So you say maybe they knew the security guard over there who's also suing Briss. The security guard somehow got them backstage or whatever. They was chilling waiting for Briss to finish his mean grease and taking the pictures with the fans and people that paid. And then after that, somehow they was fine. That could be the case, but listen, as much as I do fuck with Chris Brown, that's my man. So you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I fuck with Chris Brown. As I say it all the time, and I might have to play a little bit of a devil's advocate, hey. 
That nigga bang red, so he all right with me saying this, you know what I'm saying? You know, the devil red, you know what I'm saying? Well, ain't gonna try to do a little joke there. Like, subscribe, help a nigga out. <laughs> With that being said, um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, hey, I know Brits. Christopher Pop, bro. bro. I know that boy. I know he get popping. He ain't done no phase. He gonna fight with anybody. I, pff, tuh, Brits? So I would not be surprised if somehow, these niggas was his ops. And maybe his entourage jumped in, you know what I'm saying, and was on some shit with them boys. I would not be surprised. Also, I love how Yellow BZ was kind of involved as well, and they just forgot about that whole thing, and they just focusing on breast. But yeah, <clears throat> of course, the lawyer's not lying. These niggas are looking for a come. Nigga, if it was me, what? I said it the whole time in the Lil Wayne situation when something happened with his like a personal system, whatever happened. Nigga, if it's me, a nigga could flick my ear like this. Oh, nigga, I'm falling. Nigga, I'ma say that nigga the fuck. Nigga, I can't walk. Nigga, my nervous system is shattered. Nigga, I'm gone. The fuck you talking about? So again, these motherfuckers could be was trying to set, was trying to catch a play. He was trying to get a settlement. He was trying to catch a play. But, hey, listen. Motherfuckers be trying some shit. So I can't look at these boys and be like, oh, they were just, they ain't, now nah, they ain't right. But I get it. All right, listen, hey, they ain't right. But I could see what they was trying to do. Now, <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if Briss had beef with, with one of the individuals. That was the original uh, comment of the shit. But like at this point, bro, oh, 50 million to divide by all four of them or whatever, like, Y'all niggas doing too much. See, if they say some shit like, yo, I want like two M's, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Not like I right, Chris paid him, but I'm like, I, I could see niggas kind of settling on some shit. But nigga, 50 M's? Who's giving a nigga 50 M's, bro? I couldn't sleep at night if I gave a nigga 50 M's. I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, the initial lawsuit filed against Chris Brown claims that after the show ended, a Brown's people invited playing teams Larry Parker... Joseph Lewis, Charles Bush, and Demarcus Powell backstage. They were escorted along with 40 other women to a post-concert meetup. The Playtons say they, uh, that they grew tired of waiting for Brown to come backstage. They, they started to leave, but had the chance to say goodbye to him on their way out. They claim that after the Playtons dapped up Brown, a member of Brown's entourage... Okay, this is what I was talking about. A member of Brown's entourage yelled loudly asking if Brown forgot that he and Bush had beef. Brown's Brown's attitude reportedly changed, and he allegedly uh, <clears throat> encouraged members of his entourage to beat off the plaintiffs. TMZ Hip Hop adds that Brown's attorney believes a video of the incident exists, one that he believes will help his defense. Bro, honestly, nowadays in 2024, there's probably a video about everything. Let's keep it a book. But yeah, I love how they just forgot about Yellow Bees in this whole situation. At this point, man, I think I said what I said in like... The last, before I get into this point, the last three minutes, bro, listen. I wouldn't be surprised if these niggas is trying to catch a play. They what it is. They are trying to catch a play. Who knows? They could be potentially in cahoots with the security guard. And also, with that being said, um, what was that what I was going to say? Briss could really have beef with that nigga, and his entourage just jumped on them boys. It really could be that. So, we'll see what happens at this point. Right now, it looks like it's really a play. Definitely a play from the security guard. Definitely a play, and I ain't mad at him. I ain't, I'm gonna keep it a boy. Hey, you trying to come on, my nigga? I ain't gonna lie. Listen, as much as I fuck with Briss, don't get me wrong. Hey, listen, nigga. Hey, niggas need money too. <laughs> fuck it. And if I was on some shit, bro, I, I'd be finessing my, myself as well. But hey, what do y'all feel about this? Comments down below. Links in the description. Besides all that, it's your friendly neighborhood KA hey, signing off for today. The Black TJ that while doing this thing. My name ring bells like quasi moto. Hit like, subscribe, you trying to hit a little bit more though. Subscribe to the second channel, quasi moto. Links in the description, you heard me. And besides all that, I'm gone. Slime zone peace, y'all. Aye.